What's up, guys? It's Sugi Kihiro came out, and I'm here with. What is going on, guys? Me, Skyler, Stan, anyone, and we got some news on the matches, and it's my boy. It's it's news on my boy yes. Taekwondo Crow. We got a freaking mystical Taekwondo Crow variant, and he looks nice. Yeah, we just saw this. Uh, Skyfan just showed this image to me. And I was just like, okay, this deserves a video because this is a whole new variant. It's no legendary, it's no nitro or enchanted anything like that. It's mystical Taekwondo. Quo. So we thought, I thought it was gonna be a Mystic Cat variant. You know, it would have worked for a Mystic Cat variant. Like he looks cool after just seeing this. I guess it's just like he kept his wed on him, and I think yeah, it's just basically like all silvery white color on his beak and his like body it's just white and then he has his you know um so I was another thing so it's a whole new variant so I don't really know what my thoughts on it quite yet other it's a new variant and it's really interesting and uh what's your thoughts on your on not seeing it for the first time oh my God, look, it, he looks so good as this new variant series. I'm hoping Mystic Hat gets one. It would make complete sense. If it doesn't, then I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, to I'm gonna cry if Mystic Hat doesn't get this type of variant. But, yeah. um, it, um, I wouldn't say this is available at launch because yeah. we already have quite a few stuff at launch. So Although I think this will come out later. Yeah, it's just weird because usually... All of the variants character, well, every character from Wave 1, if they get a variant, it's kind of Wave 1, Wave 2, because uh, it just makes a lot of sense. Because you wouldn't get a new Taekwondo Crow figure as a variant, like, in Wave 4. So it has to come out sometime around, maybe October, maybe. I know I'm going to get Taekwondo Crow Day 2, because I, uh, I got it from Amazon, so... And Amazon shipping it's gonna get you know Willie's kind of after with Chomping Mage and that villain bundle five pack, but it, it looks really amazing, and uh, yeah. So any uh, other things to say about this or? Um, I'm hoping this is not a store exclusive because yeah. we have quite a few store exclusives for way more. I don't know. It looks like if I if I were to guess if it was a, a exclusive, it would probably be either Walmart or Target. We've already got a Best Buy exclusive yeah. and a Toys R Us exclusive. That's, that's exactly the thing, because we have so many store exclusives right now. Like, the Crash Edition is not at Toys R Us, if any of you thought about that. The Dark Edition is only at um, at GameStop, and you can you can get the Crash Edition at GameStop. But basically, we have too many exclu like store exclusives going on right now. We got Legendaries at Toys R Us. We got Darks at... Um, you know, we got Dark Dark Edition at GameStop. We have Steel Play to Hoodsicle at Best Buy. But the thing is about Steel Play to Hoodsicle, which really doesn't add up, is that when we first heard of Steel Play to Hoodsicle, he was listed on GameStop. So, um, it was listed on GameStop. So I'm kind of wondering, why is Steel Play to Hoodsicle all of a sudden exclusive to Best Buy? Yes, I know it makes sense for him to be because Steel Play to Smash It was exclusive to Best Buy last year. Um, but it just doesn't really add up. King Code Chop Scotch, I think, yeah, she's available everywhere from what I've heard. So, mm. I don't know. I'm hoping this won't be a store exclusive if it's at launch. Yeah. So, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment. Make sure you guys head over and subscribe to Skyfan91's channel. And, uh, so, yeah, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment. And, uh, see you guys on the next video.